Alright guys, so this is my Revolution 13 and as you can see my bungee system to hold my paddle has seen better days. I've actually uh, had to take a zip tie and take some of the slack out just for it to hold the paddle. And without the zip tie on there you can see how bad it is. It's just... It's, it's horrible. I mean I could stick my leg through here probably so... Um, it's just really bad. So today I'm going to be replacing that like this and I've already done this side and um, the good thing about this is you can choose the color that you want to do so um, I just chose to do yellow just because I just had uh, a yellow one laying around so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be replacing this one and I'm going to show you how to do it so in order to replace this bungee you're actually going to have to unscrew these and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some locking pliers which I'm not going to lock all the way and these plugs are on very tight so I'm just gonna carefully kinda crack it loose just like that and um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some black duct tape and just put all around the side of this so I don't scratch up the boat alright so with some duct tape around both of them I'm just gonna go ahead and just take my time unscrewing this trying not to uh, mar up the actual plug itself too bad alright there we go alright so what you're going to need is just a regular bungee cord the whatever color you want and I'm actually going to use this piece because I only chopped off a small piece to uh, replace the other one scissors some cutters marker and two zip ties. If you're replacing both of them, you're going to need four zip ties and some type of lighter or torch. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop off the old bungee. So all you're left with is two plugs and your pull tab. Now this bungee is actually too big to go through this hole. So I'm just going to take a step drill bit and drill out this hole a little bit bigger and I'll, then I'll be able to slip it through there. Alright, so I slipped the bungee through the hole and I didn't record it but I actually um, heated this part up with a torch. You see how the other end is all frayed and I'll, uh, I'll do that in a second. But first thing you're going to do is take a zip tie and you're just going to make a little hole, kind of like that. Then take this, squeeze a little small section like that, and take the zip tie, and have it as tight as you can get it. And then all you do is just zip tie it on there, and you want the head of the zip tie, if the camera will focus, off to the side. And the reason for that, whenever you slip this in, you'll actually have room for the head of that zip tie to actually fit down in there. And that'll give you enough space. So now what you do, just take this and screw it back in. And you don't have to screw it all the way back in, just do it to where it's snug, kind of like that. Bring the bungee over loosely, don't, don't tighten it up and just stick your piece in like that stick your thumb in the hole and bring the bungee over and you can kind of adjust it if you want it looser than that you can make it looser um, I kinda like it like that actually I'm gonna make it a little bit looser and all I'm gonna do is uh, just I'm shoving this end in the hole to make this piece looser so Yeah, that's going to be nice and tight on my paddle. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a marker and just kind of mark where I need to cut it. Alright, so I'm going to take my torch and I'm just going to heat up the bungee to get rid of the frame. 
and you don't have to do this very long, it's kind of quick, like that right there is good enough. And uh, you can see that there's no fraying or anything, it's all melted together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plug, slip it through there, and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did to this with the zip tie. Alright, so with both ends in, now you just have a brand new bungee and if you forget to uh, put your pull cord on before you put these on, which I just did, it actually slips over the plug so you don't have to take anything apart. Alright, so now that you got your bungee all together, just take one end, screw it in all the way, get it back tight, make sure you don't strip the threads that are inside of the kayak. And then when you get to the other end, you're actually going to have to hold this so this will actually twist. That way it won't end up twisting as you're screwing it in and end it up like looking all funky like that. So make sure that you use a zip tie that's um, actually small enough to where you can do that. So now with the bungee fixed, it's really easy to put the paddle on and just bungee it right to the kayak. And there's no extra slack like it was before. You can see it's nice and tight. This paddle is not going to go anywhere. And now I have both of them fixed. So any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back with you. And on that note, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.